Hey, what's going on guys? Joe and John here with sandblastingmachines.com and today we're going to be talking to you about silicon carbide nozzles from Klemco. That's right, Joe. The silicon carbide nozzle, uh, Klemco offers up their Klemlite series. Uh, the reason we offer that is because it has great resistance to wear, so guys really like that. You may pay a little more for the nozzle over a tungsten okay. carbide, but uh, you're going to get some more life out at about 500 hours uh, versus 300 hours on a tungsten carbide. It's lighter than tungsten carbide, so oh. you're out there working for about eight hours, nine yeah. hour days, and hanging on that wear. heavy nozzle, right? You can get worn out, so the you know, guys prefer that because it is it is lighter weight and it, uh, it also is impact resistant. Okay, great. These come in what is called a long venturi style. What right. is that exactly? Venturi. So the venturi is when you're looking down the nozzle from say the entry point. Okay. Uh, you're looking. It could be a one inch or one and a quarter entry. It's the tapering within the nozzle. So they call it a long venturi because it could be six inches, five inches, you know, depending on the nozzle size, right. where the material is actually being tapered down to the small orifice that we call, you know, we measure our nozzles by, it could be five sixteenths, whatever it may be. Right. Uh, the reason for the venturi is it actually decreases pressure, but increases velocity. Which Interesting. That's what we want in sandblasting. Right. You know, we want that velocity coming out. All right, and then when it comes to mounting threads, we have your standard as well as your contractor. Right, well, we've all come to know in the industry. You know, you have your one and a quarter standard thread and your contractor thread. On the silicon carbide side, the series SAS is your standard thread with a one inch entry. Okay. Then they also have an SMS, which is a contractor thread, one inch entry. And finally, we offer up an SXS, which is a contractor thread, one and a quarter entry. So pay attention to your S's, don't mix those up. That's right. All right, perfect. So finally, when you're choosing a nozzle, what are the main things that you think you should consider? As always, and you probably hear us say in a lot of these videos, but it, it's probably the biggest thing to sandblasting, it's your air, your air volume, yes. your CFM. So the amount of available air and CFMs is key to choosing a nozzle, because based on that orifice size, you know how much air you're letting out, how much abrasive you're letting out, that's going to tell us what size compressor you need. So when you're choosing a nozzle, if you choose too large a nozzle, uh, you know, low blast pressure and rapid wear on the blast yeah. is going to occur. And then on the flip side, you go too small a nozzle, it's going to be really difficult to achieve uh, smooth media flow. So, right. you know, that's not a good thing. And, uh, and it's almost know. like your machine tells you when you're off. Right, right, yeah. But, that, but that's a good point, Joe. When you go up one orifice size or a sixteenth of an inch, yeah. uh, that's when it's going to be time to replace your nozzle because the machine almost is going to say it. You know, it's going to be, oh, all of a sudden, why does it feel like I'm, I'm not getting the pressure I used to right. have? Chances are, because nobody's messing with the compressor and changing up your yeah, PSI. Yeah, my, my pressure's still the same. But right, but your, your nozzle orifice probably wore out, so that's a good indicator. It's time to change. And that's one sixteenth of an inch beyond its original size. Correct. Perfect. All right, well, great explanation on silicon carbide nozzles. You can find all of those available in the nozzle section on sandblastingmachines.com. Shipping is always free, over $75. And for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys.